keep calling her Aunt Lily. She's hardly any older than you are. David Dameron is one of the regular cast members at Nicholasville's KCAL Old Time Radio Theater. And now, Roma Wise takes you back to our Hollywood soundstage. Five times a year, the troupe recreates radio comedies and dramas from the 1940s. But it's a television show from the 1960s that really has David's loyalty. One thing I really like about the show is you get a lot of life lessons out of it. He collects anything he can get his hands on connected to The Andy Griffith Show. Books, scripts, and records. Here's one from Don Knotts. In 2022, David learned that a series called Mayberry Man was in the works, a spinoff of a movie by the same name inspired by The Andy Griffith Show. It was being crowdfunded, and donors at a certain level could land an appearance in the show. I'm a banker by trade, and I've always wanted to be an actor. I'm an actor wannabe, I guess, and, uh, but I, don't, I, I can't go to L.A. or go to New York to, to the hubs and try to make a go of it. To get a chance to act even briefly in a project tied to his favorite show was a dream come true. I'm David Dameron. I'm from Nicholasville, Kentucky. When David sent in his audition video, he read the lines for every part in the scene, not just the role he was being considered for. Melville? Those low-down, dirty buzzards? Can they do that? That was, uh, that was impressive. In a podcast promoting the series, the producer singled out David's audition as one of the best. In November 2022, he flew to California and spent two hours shooting and reshooting a scene that runs less than two minutes. But he's front and center in that scene as an angry citizen. No more Mayberry? Shane, I told you not to say anything. Who's Shane? I heard it from Kathy down at the diner. Word travels around Nicholasville just as quickly as it did in the fictional town of Mayberry. And David says he's taking a lot of kidding about his upcoming seconds in the spotlight. But he won't nip it in the bud. A, a couple of eating establishments in town. Uh, here comes Hollywood. Here comes Hollywood. <laughs> Fame may be fleeting, but this taste of it was worth the time, money, and effort for David. Absolutely. Had it been another show, I don't think I would have I would have taken as much pride in it. Now his collection is more personal. His name is on the call sheets, his picture on souvenir playing cards. He may not be the star of the show, but he's a Mayberry man through and through. In Nicholasville, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.